And Lord, I just ask you to look over everybody as we go through this process of trying to increase the awareness of all the disparity that we face, in, in particular in the city of Milwaukee. Amen. Today we're at the Wisconsin Black Historical Society Museum and we're having a town hall luncheon meeting to unveil the Social Determinants of Health Accelerated Action Plan for Milwaukee that looks at developing a plan to redress some of the ills that was done through a restorative justice process. Bringing the voice of the community into the, the process from the very beginning to develop solutions so that everyone can thrive together in this community. I launched a new initiative called the Nurturing Collaborative in partnership with Feeding America, where we have funding to serve 200 families, expecting families in the community. We have begun the area of treatment for Alzheimer's Association, so a cure is coming for this devastating disease. We are in the midst of actually starting on writing prompts and programs and performance prompts and programs for the youth and young adults so we can keep them out of the streets. And so we were able to get many of the community members that are here today and many others who could not be here to talk a little bit about what they feel is going on in the community and be able to identify how we can develop and promote the assets within the community to respond to the needs. In the garden, the weeds are the bad guys and they need to be restored. Here's the restorative justice with the weeds in the garden. You pull them from the plants, you put them in the compost bin, you water that compost bin and you turn it over, and by next planting season, what was bad has been restored, and it's now good soil to grow good food that it once tried to destroy. And I think that is so great that this is happening in this day and age because it hasn't happened in the past. Now the goal is how do we create a better future for all?